Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is happening. Leaks have just revealed today that this year's upcoming Call of Duty game will be titled Modern Warfare 3, a fully fledged sequel to Modern Warfare 2, and it will feature a campaign, multiplayer, and the return of Call of Duty Zombies in the Modern Warfare universe for the very first time. This has been reported on by Insider Gaming, who have a very clean track record when it comes to leaks and info on Call of Duty, and it's been reported by Charlie Intel, who is very doubtful that this information isn't true but when it comes to zombies for modern warfare 3 several sources have said to insider gaming that the mode is essentially an outbreak 2.0 which is absolutely insane if this is true and i know this is going to divide quite a lot of the zombies fans so i want to know straight away do you like the sound of an outbreak 2.0 zombies mode coming to modern warfare 3 or would you rather have traditional round based zombies now there are so many questions to ask when it comes to zombies in modern warfare 3 firstly who is going to be developing the zombies Zombies will be no forefront that this game is in development by Sledgehammer Games, but it's understood to be supported by various other Call of Duty studios, just like we've seen with a lot of recent Call of Duty games, and especially with Modern Warfare 2. So if we can assume that Treyarch are also going to have a hand at working on this game, just like we have with Modern Warfare 2, that begs the question if we're going to see Treyarch develop Zombies mode, or if it's going to be fully led by Sledgehammer Games, creating a very different experience to what we're used to. If we compare what happened when Treyarch created a zombies mode in a Sledgehammer Games title, ended up with Vanguard Zombies, which clearly did not have enough development time that we would have liked to have seen for it to be a more polished, fleshed out zombies mode, where it tried to combine round based as well as Outbreak into this weird hybrid that clearly just did not work. When we reflect on Outbreak inside of Black Ops Cold War, Treyarch mentioned that this is a mode that they had wanted to put in zombies for years and years, and it finally made sense for it to work within Black Ops Cold War. It was a very successful mode mode according to the amount of players that were on it. Treyarch said they had record numbers on Outbreak which were surpassing even round based zombies numbers that they had back in the day which is such a crazy statistic to get your head around but of course with Outbreak it definitely felt like Treyarch were laying down the foundations for what would be a really phenomenal game mode and by the end of Cold War's final season Outbreak had gotten so many substantial updates as well as full-on easter egg quests that it felt like its own full-fledged mode that was really taking shape. But with Modern Warfare 2, whilst we don't have a zombies mode, what we have instead for the third mode is DMZ, which is this incredible open world sandbox with multiple players, multiple types of AI, and hundreds and hundreds of different AI types on the map at once. And when we hear the idea of an Outbreak 2.0, in my mind, it makes complete sense for Outbreak 2.0 to be a hybrid of Outbreak from Cold War and DMZ. I have said since DMZ first launched that if they were to switch up the AI with with zombies and have all sorts of bosses roaming around the map and have tons of zombies it would be an absolutely phenomenal experience especially to have multiple teams of players live in the map at the same time as you i genuinely think that is where they could be taking it but just the idea alone of zombies from a law standpoint existing inside of modern warfare 3 is going to be very interesting from a continuity point of view i don't think it makes sense for any other dev studio bar treyarch to be handling this one because if they wanted to connect with Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard narratively then it needs to be part of that same universe and it just doesn't make sense for there to be a completely separate zombies mode at this point that is completely disconnected from that dark ether universe because all these modern COD games are now connected in their stories even though it might not seem it Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare and Vanguard were all connected and we're seeing connections to Cold War or Modern Warfare 2 in various aspects such as during the new raids where you have Perseus symbols everywhere. And I know this may be a bit of a stretch, but inside the new Koshai complex, inside of the chemical plant, which is the super dark area, there is a very strange noise coming from certain buildings where there are tanks and windows. And there's biohazard symbols on the doors in there. So clearly they're hiding something and they've created a sound effect for a reason. But it's definitely a polarizing choice for them to do Outbreak 2.0 rather than a round-based experience. But I feel if we want to stick to the true core Treyarch zombies continuing on from Cold War, it makes sense for them to do a DMZ Outbreak hybrid style mode rather than a round base because on one hand, it probably takes less time for them to create that sort of mode where they could literally just swap out the AI that we have in DMZ for zombies and put them on a Warzone map as an example as what we could experience. Outbreak was played on massive multiplayer experiences. This is Outbreak 2.0, so it, it seems almost 
inevitable that it will be on a Warzone map unless development time is spent on actually creating the map because it will already exist for Warzone, but they will just polish it up and switch it up slightly for zombies. What's even more interesting about this whole thing is that in the article for Insider Gaming, they say it's understood that Activision is currently weighing the possibilities on if the zombies mode should be a part of the premium title or not, or if it makes more sense for the mode to be a free to play experience. Now, if this zombies mode was a free to play experience, this would open the floodgates to millions and millions of new players to jump on board with zombies who may have stopped playing during the World at War Black Ops 1 days and experience something completely brand new, fresh and different because a lot of the people in those eras stopped playing zombies because they just got burnt out from round base and the way that zombies was being taken. But this would be a new style of zombies for them. And it being free to play would be absolutely huge for the zombies ecosystem. It would be phenomenal. When prior Black Ops Zombies titles, when Jason Blundell was the director, he distinctly would say that zombies would never be a standalone experience or a free to play experience because it's just part of the $60 entry fee. You just, you expect a campaign, a multiplayer and a zombies. And I guess from Activision's point of view back then, it didn't make sense. They would want as many sales as possible. So if you were buying the game just for zombies, then that's a sale for them. DMZ is a free to play mode and that is really popular right now. And I think it will only continue to get more popular so zombies outbreak being free to play would be incredible but you do have to weigh up how they would monetize it because if we look at dmz a lot of people are worried and concerned with these operator bundles that are coming out where certain operator bundles will have specific effects giving you kill streaks upon spawn and equipment and i know that people are outraged by people essentially paying for buffs but i'm very confident that they've probably sold fairly well and when we look at you know black ops 3 and black ops 4 with gobble gums and elixirs that was their way of monetizing a function of the game to give you a little bit of a head start a boost now if they brought gobble gun back i think it would be incredibly popular people would be so happy but i just think in this day and age narratively it doesn't make a lot of sense and in cold war we started to see some bundles that had some pack a punch abilities tied to weapons but they weren't really that overpowered and i actually have a conversation with lex a, a week or two ago about the ideas of what could happen here and there's a chance that we could see operator bundles that will come with a gobblegum effect on them, giving you somewhat of a extra perk or ability when you go in the game, but it's not going to be something that is truly game-breaking, if you get what I mean. What a crazy journey this mode has been on with Black Ops Cold War, Vanguard, and now in a Modern Warfare game. If we go back to 2019, the directors of Modern Warfare 2019 said that zombies would simply not make sense narratively within their game because it's a Modern Warfare game that's trying to tell a realistic story, although they did have a zombies mode plan as there was concept artwork that released quite a while after modern warfare came out and it had its seasons which is really interesting so if we look at that on screen i'm not saying that this is going to be at all related to how zombies is going to be in modern warfare 3 it's the only known public concept of what modern warfare zombies could look like now you've got to weigh up a ton of things like i don't think we're going to see any zombie types that we've gotten to know within cold war and vanguard within modern warfare these are going to be completely new bosses and zombie types which are going to fit the theme of modern warfare we could see of course like a zombified juggernaut modernized versions of the hellhounds is really interesting because it's an era and time of zombies that we've never seen explored before we've been to the far future in black ops 2 with transit die rise berry taking place in 2025 but it had no effect on the time period of the zombies ai that we fought against but with an outbreak 2.0 we can imagine that this is going to be on a much bigger scale to outbreak we could only have teams of four we could see that increase exponentially we could even have systems from dmz where you can join enemy teams create bigger teams and go on massive massive adventures and it could be a little bit like a destiny sorts with this massive map where you can just roam around beat bosses kill zombies do whatever you want and you could also look at blackout as maybe a very small hybrid of what outbreak eventually became and what we could see because that was a more modernized version which had this completely separate map that was not related to zombies but still had zombies on it and several zombies areas At the end of the day this is all just a rumor a very very big juicy leak rumor so take it all with a pinch of salt but insider gaming haven't been wrong so far and for them to state things like this as well as dates for modern warfare 3 such as beta weekends the campaign early access the full release and even the season one launch day this is all stuff that you just don't make up so they clearly have insider knowledge and today 
all the pipes burst with leaks for Call of Duty, which is, this is just insane news. So let me know what you think about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies mode, Outbreak 2.0. Are you happy by this? Are you annoyed by this? Are you worried about this? In case it ends up like another Vanguard, let me know your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe with the bell so you keep notified any moment that we get more news about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and I'll see you next time.